Hello everyone, Joel Wolfson here. Today I want to show you a cool new masking tool in On1 Photo Raw 2019. This showed up in the most recent update, which is 2019.2. It's called Quick Mask AI, and as the name implies, it uses artificial intelligence to make a mask quickly. Not just any mask, but it will handle intricate ones that would normally be much more time consuming to create. So here I have a landscape that I shot before sunrise with mist in this valley and the farm and the foreground. And I have a typical dilemma where I want to adjust the foreground and the mist separately. So global adjustments really won't work. For example, let me add a tone enhancer so I can adjust exposure. Now if I just take the exposure slider separately and move that up to lighten the mist, then it washes out my whole image, including the foreground, which if anything, I would like to go a little darker with that, and of course I need to go lighter with the mist. Now, I could try to isolate it with the highlight slider, but even if I bring that all the way up to 100%, I've run out of headway because it still may not be light enough and also it is starting to affect my foreground a little bit too. So, clearly I need a mask. Now those of you that might not be familiar with masking, a mask is a way to selectively block out parts of the image from being affected by whatever adjustments you're making. And we get to the mask by going up here and clicking on the little mask icon. The rule of thumb is that white reveals and black conceals. So you see our little preview window of the mask shows that it's all white. So whatever adjustments I do are going to affect the whole image. So if I go down here to my exposure and I bring that up to maybe approximately where I want the mist to be, of course my foreground is all washed out. Now I'm going to leave it light here. I'll put it all the way up to about one stop. You'll notice the transition on this uh, horizon, if you will, has trees and bushes with all kinds of branches and of course the mist and the villa. So a lot of intricate detail to define and normally a mask for this um, would be rather time consuming. So let's see how AI Quick Mask handles it. I go up to the top here, you notice there's a new area to select here a new button uh, that says AI and that's a quick mask so I can just click on that. So next to that is the mode which is if I click on this there's a drop and a keep. So uh, it doesn't really matter which one I start with the minus sign uh, where my cursor is means it's gonna subtract out so what I want to subtract out is down here and it it just makes a red line you can make the brush whatever size you want so all I'm gonna do is just run this through uh, the bottom part here and I'm just making sure that I sample different kinds of tones and textures and the artificial intelligence will know that and know how to separate it. Um, I can hold down the option key to change it to plus which means that's what I'm going to keep or I can simply go up to the menu here and say keep. And So now it'll be green and I'm going to do the same thing on top here and just kind of go through the mist and all this stuff that um, I do want to keep. And when I'm done with that, I'll click on apply. And it'll probably take a few seconds and voila. So the red is what it's going to mask out and the green is what it's going to keep. I'll click on done here and then I'll take a look at the mask. Now it's defining the mask now and right after it creates the mask you'll notice over on the left here it has automatically gone to the refine brush assuming that I may want to refine the mask. So here's a little preview window over on the right I'll click on view so that I can look at the mask full screen and you notice I am missing a few of the bushes here and maybe not this whole bush right here so I can I'm in the refine mode I'm just gonna brush over this and I'll make sure I get this whole tree here. We wait a few seconds and look at that. Voila, we have all those bushes selected. I'll magnify it so you can see better. We, you can see all the branches and all the little intricate detail here, even the what looks like chimneys and stuff on this villa. So let's take a look at what it looks like now uh, with the image. 
So now you can see my foreground is still dark the way I want it. I might even want to darken it more. I've got my slider here where I can, you see if I adjust the mist, I have that nice clean transition. So probably around, I want to be around roughly a stop up or something like that. I can still make other adjustments. For instance, I can go down here and bring up the clarity slider for a little more definition in the mist. So you can see that was quick, uh, simple, and it was a rather intricate mask. If you already own PhotoRAW 2019, this is a free upgrade. If not, you can download a free trial and see how you like it. I have links in my blog if that's where you're watching this. If you're on YouTube, just click my blog link below in the description. If you own a previous version and want to upgrade, or you just decide you want to buy PhotoRAW 2019, be sure to use my discount code JWPHOTO and you'll get 20% off. If you want to learn more about PhotoRAW 2019, I have a review and video which is also on my blog. I hope you found this video useful, and we'll see you next time.